Microsoft Power BI is a fantastic tool and one that's gaining real momentum at the moment. We've just started using it over the last year or so and, and trying to combine it with our existing solutions, um, specifically um, the uh, Praxis IQ uh, reporting and BI solution. So what we're able to do is uh, present uh, the Praxis IQ information through uh, various dashboards and templates uh, designed in Power BI. The way it works is uh, you start off with a desktop file. So if you think about an Excel workbook, it's just uh, that, but uh, uh, with the advanced visualization options. And you import the data um, using queries and views that we provide through the IQ solution. And once it's done, you simply refresh the data um, in, in situ. So at the very basic level, you can use the desktop uh, product. Uh, currently, it's free. Um, to present information in a new way. Once on in here, you can connect up the different aspects of each uh, on, within each uh, report here. So you can connect by clicking on a specific item. It will automatically filter the rest of the, the report. Clicking again will bring um, the, the, uh, all the information back in. Um, you have another visualization here, breaking down in this case by the different standard matters and the volumes uh, or the numbers within those. Again, clicking on that will filter the whole report accordingly. So again, we've put together a series of templates or starting points for you across the main data sets, um, namely the workflow, which you're seeing here. We've got a CRM one, we've got a couple of tax ones, and uh, standard WIP and debt reporting and utilization information. Um, so as a starting point, uh, they're out of the box, and you can just start, connect them up and start using them. So it's all well and good using it uh, from a desktop point of view, it's very powerful, but in terms of making it available to everyone else, um, the real advantage to uh, Power BI is the ability to publish to an online um, uh, resource. Um, you obviously need accounts, you need the Microsoft licensing, um, and you need a Power BI account. Uh, but once you've got those, it, what you can do is build your template or change your template, save it, and publish it to the online store called the Workplace. We've got a couple set up here. Um, I'll choose the Retreat uh, 2018 one here. We'll select that. And because it's already up there, it's asked me to replace the, the data source. Wait a couple of minutes. And using this model, what we've done is refresh all the relevant data into the actual report itself. And that information has been published up as well as the, uh, the graphical and visualization pieces here. So once there, you can jump uh, to your online account. So this is just uh, the Microsoft PI, uh, Power BI uh, website. I've logged in using my no normal Microsoft account. And we can see here in my workspace, uh, represented up here, the workflow reports and the other templates available. If we click on the workflow report here, you'll see it's exactly the same. But now this is available, or, or you can access this outside of your, your network on any device that you have as well. Um, just for reference here, when you create these templates, and we've done it with these, you can create a mobile view of the templates, which is very useful if you need to access the information on a mobile phone or a smaller uh, device than a, than a tablet or a laptop. Once in here, obviously you can just use the reports them, themselves. But what you can do is pin different aspects of these reports to a higher level dashboard. And from the other reports that have been published, you can pin those equivalent uh, um, controls to the dashboard. So you're not confined to just looking at workflow information or just looking at tax information. So the way you do that is just hit the pin button here. You can choose, because I don't have one set up, I can go dashboard and pinned to the dashboard. If I go back up to the top level of my retreat, I can see there's now a dashboard. When I go to that, you can see the components or the control that's been pinned to that. So just repeat that process, but I think uh, what I'll do is knit to a, a slightly different report, maybe my lockup, so whip and dead information. Here's my, the report, the template associated with that, and I'm interested in having my whip and debt uh, picture on the top level dashboard. Because I've got a dashboard there, I can pin to an existing, go back, go to my dashboard, and we have both items pinned to that dashboard. So you can start building up your own world and your own visualizations based on those underlying templates. So a very, very powerful tool. 
Um, once it's in here, depending on the licenses, again, you can share with the various people within the organization or outside the organization as you see fit. So a very quick introduction to uh, Power BI. Um, as I said before, we will be utilizing this, uh, this tool going forward uh, quite aggressively, and we'd love to hear your feedback and your experiences around using this tool. Thank you.